Unfortunately, as a as a byproduct of making all these things, I've made them out of steel, um, which I guess makes the most sense. Although these lead, uh, these shouldn't be made out of lead. They should be steel as well, right? They should be steel as well. Yeah. So um, I'm kind of running a little bit low on steel. I, I mean, I have seven tons, but that was because I uh, got rid of that monument. I'm going to need more. And it's probably about time that I turn this back on. But I was thinking, um, it's still quite cool down here. What if I just made this out of mesh tiles so that all the liquid goes through and then it can freeze down the bottom there? How is this? Uh, all our food is decaying. That's really sad. <laughs> um, I wonder if I, if I just whoop, put it all on the floor. Will it be in? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now it's in, it's in the little pocket of chlorine that we've got there. Cool. Uh, well, in that case, I don't need to do that. Did I even set them up? I'm not sure. Okay, good. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's on the floor. The only downside is they won't be able to put more things in. So maybe I should connect one. Uh, but then they'll just sweep all that stuff. I just need more chlorine, basically. Just need more chlorine. And I, I built a little pipe so I can get the excess stuff going back into here. So hopefully that'll let me get more chlorine out of here. Let's enable this again. Alright, so we've got... We're getting a bit more glass, which is nice. Because I've been using this. Um, I'm going to have to turn this back on. Iron to steel. How much iron do we actually have? We have... 11.6 tons. How much iron ore do we have? Wow! <laughs> Alright, that is a lot. Oh, Hassan, I forgot to block you from getting in. That's my bad. Hassan. Where are you? Hassan. Uh, not permitted. Not yet. You need more skills. Same with this door. Not permitted. So he'll he'll be able to get back out, but won't be able to come back in. So I'm gonna enable this one. Uh, plastic. We've still got eight tons. This is making refined carbon. That's fine. Ceramic. I think I will enable as well. This is not on one speed, this is on three times speed. He's just that slow. <laughs> There's Lyra for comparison. Thank you, Lyra. I think it was actually this. Um, using the oil, spinning it back in, it eventually uh, reaches like a boiling temperature. Because we don't really have anything else to use as coolant. Hmm. I don't know. We'll let it run for a bit. This water is quite cool. But yeah, this is just hot. Maybe I should dump a bunch of ice in there. I don't know. Glass. There you go. Temp shift plate out of ice. And it'll just melt. <laughs> See, we're getting steam again. Where is that? It's from this. Because it's too hot. Look at that. It's 200 degrees. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why. So, I need to figure out a way to fix that before I can use it again. Hmm. What I could do, I could make some radiant piping. So that it, it goes out around here. And then comes back in there and it'll be a lot cooler. But that'll only be a temporary solution. Hmm. But it's one that I might have to do for now. So this is also still under construction. I'm going to need to connect it to power. So I'll probably have to drag that wire through here anyway. There you go. 
So that's all the power set up. Uh, as for the plumbing, oh, we need one. No, this is already good. Okay. So that's going to have to go into the same circuit. There. Good. I need like a switch to just turn it all off. <laughs> that would be good. Maybe I should make a shut off there like that and then I can put in a, an automation signal switch and just turn it off if I need to. I will put in the rest of the automation as well while I'm here. Oh damn we're really getting low on that lead. I guess I'll use iron instead. <laughs> uh, does Hassan have any skills yet? Not quite. Wait, are you in a rocket? Oh no, why are they up there? <laughs> oh shit, now there's no way for him to get out. I forgot to rebuild this. My bad. Uh, let's make that a bit of a higher priority. Um, I have a few things that I want to do, but I kind of have some really intensive projects going at the moment. And I want them to finish it off first, so I'll kind of hold off a bit, let them build. Who stressed Liam? Ah, oh, it's because I left him in the rocket for so long. That's my bad. Um, the chlorine is pretty full in here. I wonder if I can get them back in now. And we've got five out of eight of these turned on. That's good. Getting some dirt. We have 30 kilos of dirt. Oh, wait, wait where are they putting it? Where, they, where did you just put it? We just lost 20 kilos somewhere. Did it go into here? No, it needs sand for that. Uh, I've got to keep an eye on them. They're, they're hiding dirt somewhere. <laughs> they're using it for something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it seems like the chlorine has worked well here. And it should get rid of all the disease as well. Uh, it's going down. It might take a little while, but it's definitely dying there. Cool. So that solves the problem that we had here. Oh my god, that worked really quickly. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we got food poisoning now. <laughs> um, so. Okay. Um, I guess I need to put a, an automation thing here. A hydro sensor. So when it gets to this level, I'm going to want it to turn off. So that sends a green signal. But I can make it send a, a red. I can just put a, a not gate or something. So it's a green signal. Green signal is enable. So I'm going to want a not gate. So when it reaches that point, turn off. That should be good. Alright, they've almost finished this. Very good. How do we go with... They didn't build this, that's fine. All the steam evaporated. It's kind of funny. Did the steam become... Was it carbon dioxide that was boiling? I'm not even sure. There you go, we've got a temp shift plate. It'll eventually just melt into water. Eh, it's okay. I mean, we want it to cool this down. I can't believe it was so hot in there. So now we've got to get rid of that. Yeah, so it's melting. But it, it cooled this down a lot. Look at that. It went from 100 degrees down to 92. Okay. So if we ever need, you know, just a little bit of cooling. Hell yeah. That helped a heap. And this should help too. Um, so I can 
I'll turn it back on and we'll see how they go with that. Let's put it like a, a higher priority just so I can get it working. I want to see how it functions. So we're going to have... Oh, it's, it's already 38 degrees. Wow. 38, 85, 38, 43. Why such varying temperatures interesting but when it comes out it'll dissipate a lot of the heat there insufficient oxygen that's fine actually no i should check that because last time i said that we ran out of salt so um we have 12 tons of salt and eight tons of rust okay yeah it's working fine All right, let's have a look. So it's 170 degrees. I'll pause it when it gets to like here. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Just leaves a trail of destruction. There you go, it's minus 20. Hell yeah. Although now bits that have, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna melt everything that's here. That's the only problem. Okay. So... But now it's just really hot here. Rest in peace frozen core, huh? That's one way to get rid of it. I'll put this on 5. They'll make it slowly. I don't want them doing it all the time. Get rid of that. Building broken, it's just ladders. Ladders, fine. Ooh, where did the power go? We're just out of power? We're always out of power here. I think I will have to take this, bring over a heavy watt wire. What I was even thinking as well, since we have, where was that vent? We have a cool steam vent here. I, I could tap into that water and use it to um, produce power with some electrolysis. I could make, uh, where is it? Make some electrolyzers. Produce some oxygen as well, I guess. I'm not sure what I would do with it. It would be quite hot. But I could do that, I guess. It's a little bit awkward to get to. I have to go through this. I could also, I could get into here and use a desalinator, take all this water out, produce uh, hydrogen with electrolyzers, and then use that hydrogen. Let's see, would that be efficient? I would need, um, where is it? I would need this. This is 480 watts, and I would need 240 for this. So that's uh, 720 watts. And how much does this produce? Where is it? The hydrogen one. This produces 800, so it actually is more. Interesting. Oh, but I would also need all the gas stuff as well. Uh, it depends how much hydrogen I actually get. So this requires 100 grams per second. Okay. And this produces 112 grams per second. So it's fairly close to a one-to-one. -one. Every one of these produces enough to power one I could do it, I think. But like I said, I have a lot of projects running at the moment. They they finished this, which is nice. How are they going with this? This still needs a lot of work. So I'll wait for them to kind of finish this off first. And then I'll give them that other big project. New printables. Cool. Ooh, nutrient bars. Wow. <laughs> Take some eggs. Wait, where are you taking the dirt? 
Don't tell me you're putting it into here. Oh, they are. <laughs> it's growing again. <laughs> oh my god. But there's... I thought we got rid of the... Oh no, there's still water. It's still hot though. Huh. I, I put dig orders to remove all of that. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, it seems to be working quite well here. I mean, it warms up very quickly, but it also cools down relatively quickly as well. I wonder if I should get more wheeze warts around here. I'm not sure. Building broken. It's always ladders. I think the, the oxygen generation, it's because we've opened up a whole new area here. So I probably want to close it permanently, which means maybe dragging some of this through here, just closing that off, and I'd need a, a plate through there, and I'll probably just shut it off here or something like that, or maybe even here. I don't know what this is doing here, no one's really used this for a while, and yeah, ultimately this will be connected down here. So then they have to go through here and then out this way. I could connect it with a transit tube, I guess, but it's not that far. I could even open it up here. Yeah, I'll probably do that. After it's finished though, I'll just let them build it because it's easier for them that way. Well, actually is it? I don't know, because I have to keep going up to breathe. <laughs> Curse them needing to breathe. Who do they think this is? So I'll just chuck in a liquid lock there. Uh, just because I want to keep the natural gas on that side. <laughs> and yeah, then they can dig through the rest there. And then I can turn it off. Um, it's going to be a, a bit of a, a sink for morale, this area. But once we actually get it set up, as long as it works... I think it should work well enough. How are these guys going, by the way? We're producing quite a few of them now. So we've got three adults and two more eggs in there. They're all pretty happy. Very nice. I mean, if I wanted, I could add extra areas above so that I could grow them in a place where they wouldn't get cramped. Uh, this is almost full. So send a green signal if above above zero. So once it hits that, it will send a green signal and then that will turn this off. So at the moment, yeah, that's what it would be anyway. I hate when the steam engine gets stuffed up like that. Oh, we're actually ready to go. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, it's really annoying because then it breaks all the pipes and I should have turned them off. Oh, they're going to break anyway. My bad. <laughs> I, I need to pay more attention to this. Let's just let it all go in. Ah, uh, quick. Quick. Come on, you're right there. Just dig it out. Ah, oh, they're going to break. But yeah, this can go. Uh, so this was Liam's rocket. Liam, where do you want to go? Uh, we got to go here. There's still a little bit of research left to do there. We also got to dig this out. It's actually becoming a really big problem now. Because it means that these can't function. We get no power. The doors don't work properly. Uh, it's all going in. Good. Missing gantry. Alright, this rocket is ready to go. Yep. Catch you later. Goodbye. Not much breaks when this rocket goes. It's nice. But I will deconstruct that. <laughs> <laughs> Food poisoning from eating a germ covered water. 
Huh? Germ covered water. Oh, we have tablets. <laughs> okay. No worries. I'm gonna get rid of this building. Maybe if I move them over a little bit, I can close it off completely. And this is like not even in the sun at all. That kind of sucks. There's almost no point having it to be honest. I need to make some up here. That would be good. Let's get rid of this one actually. Yeah, we're still going all right in here. Got a few more eggs in there. I like it. How are we going here? Uh, I don't think they've really been doing this. It, it's cooled right down, which is fine. I mean, for now, we've got eight tons of steel. That should be enough to get us going for a little bit. Uh, we've still got three adults in there. These guys ready to come out of there. So you can start helping out a bit. We've still got so much carbon dioxide, so they're going to be happy for a while. Over here. Uh, I needed that joint plate. That's got to go here. I need to actually see what comes out of this. We get... Uh, outputs of water. Okay. So the water I could put back in here. I mean, that's kind of strange. <laughs> um, but it'll be quite hot. I mean, does that even matter? It needs, it's going to be steam eventually. So, uh, but yeah, these things are powered. That's all powered. Um, potential load 280. That's fine. All powered, all powered. Good, good, good. This will eventually, it'll actually be a power loss in total but it's it should be good i'm looking forward to when it's done i want to see if it actually works <laughs> i'm sure you guys have been giving me some tips in the comments i haven't quite gotten around to reading them yet because i'm actually recording this the same day but i will get around to implementing your suggestions all right, so I had to actually change this up. I decided to, instead of having it go in this way, I've made it come around and go back in the same way. So now I can make it so that the temperatures go up incrementally. The water will uh, go through the aqua tuners. It will come back in. And if it's, if it's below 50, it'll go through. If it's not, it'll go back into this one. If it's below 35, it'll go through. If not, it'll go into this one. And if it's below 20, it'll go in here. And if not, it'll come out here and cool this area. <laughs> I guess below 20 is the temperature that we're hoping for. I can probably tweak this a little bit, but because this takes out 14 degrees, if I put it anywhere below 14, it'll freeze in the pipes. So I've kind of given it a little bit of a buffer room just to be safe there. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to end that episode there. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your help in the comments. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Take care.